Hi, so you want to start using Collaboration Butler, our integration into Microsoft SharePoint, OneDrive or Microsoft Teams. This is very easy, how to set it up. All is set up in the context of your current users, so the security for both Salesforce and SharePoint are always correct. If you don't have, do not have the user credentials for SharePoint or for Salesforce, if the user doesn't have access to SharePoint nor Salesforce, he cannot do any of this uh, integration or collaboration work. So we have here an overview of Collaboration Butler. Um, in this case, we have some templates that we want to generate. When I click the generation, it will automatically generate and save the file into SharePoint. And I have my mail quote here. I can open up the SharePoint from here directly. And this is interesting because now we can see where we are uh, ending up when we go to configure this. Okay, how did I do this configuration? Let me show you. We go to edit page. On the edit page, we of course select the tab collaboration butler and we see the collaboration. So this is the URL, the site that we are uh, on SharePoint that we are linking to. So if it's OneDrive or Microsoft Teams or SharePoint, it's all a SharePoint URL. So you can always use that one. In this case, it's actually just this part of the URL in the uh, URL bar in, uh, in our browser, as you can see. Okay, next up is the path to the directory. First up is the, uh, uh, the site. Then there is a folder that uh, I have there, a uh, folder customers. And under that, there is another folder. And this folder will use the name field of our current record to actually dynamically select this folder. In this case, the name field is Rhino Cars. So we end up indeed under customers Rhino Cars. So then we have the authentication key. This authentication key we get from our SharePoint Azure integration. Uh, so this is the client ID from that SharePoint uh, Azure integration. And then uh, we configure our doc configs. Can be one or more. They can be separated by a comma. Um, a comma. So you can have a list of doc configs that you can generate here. We have one or more packs or zero or more packs, let me say, uh, put it like this. It's not required, it can just be empty. For instance, when you want to show it on an account, maybe you have no actions to take from an account, you only want to take actions from an opportunity. You can just configure no packs from there. Um, then we have the locale field and the alternative name. Of course, these are important for PDF Butter for uh, multi-language, multi-branding uh, reasons. Really in the context of your products, your customer, uh, take the language. So now it's uh, hard-coded, static. Um, but of course, if you remove this uh, quote in the beginning, just like in an Excel file, uh, you can just put here the, uh, um, um, yeah, an, uh, an API name of a field that's on the uh, uh, on the display on the on the page layout and use that as input to choose the locale of the customer. Okay, this is the entire setup. When that is done, just click the save button, go back, open up Collaboration Butler tab, log into SharePoint. So this is now logging in into your into your own content text. It knows it's logged in as Igor Stuyver, so we can just reuse that information. And as you can see, perfectly the overview of the Rhino cars, folders, and files that are currently there. Okay, that's it. Thank you.